In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the watch functions provided by AngularJS. The watch functions in Angular are essentially used to basically synchronize the UI and the model. The watch functions observe properties on the model, and when the digest loop runs, it then executes those watch functions, thereby allowing the UI to be updated with those uh, new model property values. Now to make use of the watch functions, we first of course have to include AngularJS into our web page. As you can see, I've done here from, from a popular CDN, but you can also include it in your actual web application and reference it from there. Now, as you can see here, I have a kind of a basic framework here for an Angular application. I have my ng app and ng controller. And then down here in my code, I have a module defined as well as a controller. Now, to simply use a watch function, we can simply come in here and say dollar sign scope dot dollar sign watch. And we can actually have a function run every single time the digest loop executes. And I'm going to say function. And we'll do console.log. And we'll say dollar sign digest loop has run. And now we'll switch over to our web browser, reload our page, and we can see that on the initial page on the initial page load here, our digest loop has run twice. Now, this function here will run every single time the digest loop executes. But typically with a watch, we actually want to observe a property on the scope and only have the function execute if in fact the property changes. So let's come in here and we're actually going to specify a property name called message and then we're going to specify a new value and an old value just like this and then we'll say message new value colon and then we'll put new value here we'll copy this old value and then I'm going to copy dollar sign scope message just like this and we have our initial message now what we're going to do is use this use the timeout service so that after 2000 milliseconds it's actually going to change the value of the message property to a new message and we're going to see the watch function execute now one thing that's worth mentioning is when we first set up a watch function it always gets executed once just as part of setting it up. So when we reload the page here, we're going to see initial message display twice because of that initial running. But then after two seconds, we're going to see where it gets the new message. So we'll switch back to our web browser, reload our page. There's that initial running of our watch. And then after two seconds, we have our new value of new message. Now, in addition to watching a single property on the scope, we can also watch a collection of properties on the scope. So now what I want to do is we're just going to simply copy this. And we'll say scope.message2. And we'll put first and second. And then down here, instead of watching a single property, we're going to watch a group of properties. And we set this group up by passing in an array of property names. So we're going to pass in message and message2. And then the new value and old value will actually become arrays of new values and old values. And we'll come in here and we'll say new values. And we'll actually take out message here since we're going to be tracking both properties. New values, old values, new values, old values. And then finally, we're going to come down here. And in addition to updating the message property, we want to update the message true property. And we'll do this after four seconds so that we can see that either property will actually trigger the firing of the function passed into watch group. And we'll change this to second. And now we'll switch back to our web browser. We'll reload. And we see we have the initial running. And then after two seconds, the first value is changed, but the second stays the same. 
And then finally, after four seconds, we can see that both values have now, in fact, been changed. So watch group is very useful for watching multiple properties on the scope. Finally, the last um, option is to actually watch a collection or basically watch an array of items. So we're going to come up here and we're going to change this to scope.colors. And we'll make this an array. So we'll have red, blue, and green. And then instead of watch group, we're going to change this to watch collection. And we're going to replace this with a reference to colors. And then we'll change this to new list, old list, change this to new list, new list, old list. There we go. And now down here, we only need one timeout function for this. So we'll say scope.colors. dot push and then we're gonna push a new color on here we'll push on black there we go so now after two seconds we're gonna add a new color to our array of colors and the watch collection will pick that up and actually output the new and old list so switching back to our web browser and reloading the page we see we have the initial running and then we see here where we've added a new color to the list. So you can see making use of these watch functions is actually quite useful. It is the mechanism by which AngularJS actually observes the scope and then updates the UI with any changes when the digest loop executes.